I'm on the seventh hole, one of those tricky little par fours. I'm on the green in two, just 20 feet away from the hole. For a tour player, that's a realistic birdie chance, but for many amateur golfers, there's still the potential of a bogey. This is how I want you to practice these middle distance putts, 20 to 25 feet. I've set up two sets of tees, three just down there, 20 feet away. I don't want you to practice to a hole because it's not about holding it out, it's about getting the speed. So I'm playing it down to those tees. The key things are in these types of strokes, there's some mechanics. You have to hit the ball at the sweet spot. You have to be able to control the face aim, but it's all about rhythm. Keep the tempo in the stroke. And all you're trying to do is really get the adjustment or that pace. So a couple of key things for you to think about. The first is in the mechanics. Always try to use just one engine. It's not wrists, it's not hands or arms, it's shoulders or shoulders, or even torso, torso. No manipulation whatsoever. This is a great little exercise. I've got two T's out here on the heel and the toe. This will really help you to find the sweet spot of your putter. It's difficult to do it in the beginning, but it's well worth the exercise. Ball in the middle of those two T's and try to find the feeling that you can hit the ball out of that sweet spot every time. Another area where you could break it down and I've just got two gloves to illustrate this, is if your arms disconnect from your torso. Put a glove under each armpit and make sure you can feel that pressure at the beginning of the stroke and keep it constant all the way through. If this glove under your right arm falls out during the backswing, that's a huge disconnect and you'll never ever be able to reliably control the speed. The way I've set up this little practice exercise, I've got some tees here and some other tees at 20 feet. Don't go for the hole, this is about controlling the speed. And all I'm trying to do is keep that rhythm. So with practice, I'm getting better and better. The way I've set this exercise up, all about controlling the speed. So remember those key areas, connect up your arms and hands to your body and use your body as the engine make sure you use this little 2T exercise so that you can reliably find the sweet spot. Those are the absolute fundamentals. Once you can control the speed, then you can start to control the brake.